So if you're thinking of moving to Hampstead, then South End Village may be an option you want to consider. So let's talk about location. South End Green is right in the middle of Hampstead Village, Bellsize Park and this beautiful heath. Just in front of me, you've got this beautiful pond, which is one of many here in the heath. And as we come out here, we've got much more to offer. And the thing about South End Green Village is that they really make you feel welcome, whether it's the business community, whether it's the residents, it's a tight community. They look after the place, they look after the area, they look after their neighbors. So it's no wonder why people love to come and live here. And when people settle here, they rarely want to move. So, when it comes to property stock, there isn't much available. The great thing about the area is that you actually get a bit more for your money than what you would get in Hampstead Village. And if you want to learn more about neighbourhoods in the London Borough of Camden, make sure you check out our video. So the big question is, what kind of shops do you get in South End Green? The Freemasons Arms, definitely one of my favourite pubs in the area. It's a great team and also has a nice garden area as well. Biggie Best, which from my understanding is like a homeware shop, but you can also get coffee and cake, which is uh, actually quite unusual, but quite cool. You've got your wine retail place called Must, and of course your pet shop. I mean, being just literally in front of the heath, having this pet shop here is a must. There you are. Doggy taking his uh, probably monthly checkup. <laughs> You've got several charities in the area, including Shelter Boutique. The Redemption Roasters is quite cool. But not only do they do some great coffee, but they also work towards a great cause. Dawn Books, hands down, has got to be one of my favourite bookstores. Paradise Indian Cuisine, whether it'll take you to Paradise with their flavours, I don't know, haven't tasted it myself. So the nook just behind me is a great place to pick up some hot coffee or chocolate. They even do ice cream, so we've got a variety of stuff, which is great. Uh, a lot of healthy stuff as well. Great uh, friendly bunch um, and uh, very healthy as I said. And then you just next door you've got the uh, Peri Peri chicken which uh, may not be as, uh, as healthy as their neighbours next door. And you also got Dominic's really friendly independent shop. Uh, the owner is so friendly and we're very welcoming. You've got Karma Bread, some of the best bakery in town. Brunch is back. And then you've got the Garden Gate, one of the best pubs in the area. Great food, great service, absolutely fantastic and amazing team that serves there. Really friendly bunch, really recommend you uh, drop in, especially if you're on your way to the heat. You've got sushi with soul, nice big menu as you can see. And I'll never say no to a nice cup of coffee from Gales and the fantastic uh, gluten-free bread, sourdough. And of course you can't go out without your traditional calf. Amazingo. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out in pushing more of these videos out there. So Hampstead Heath is just a great open space, whether you're looking to take advantage of the ponds, the footpaths, all the wildlife that you find here. During the summer, of course, you can enjoy picnics. I like to come here with my family, whether it's winter or summer, just to take some great walks. Uh, one of the places that we love to visit is the Nook get a great hot chocolate or hot coffee. So let's talk about property. Of course, South End Green offers a lot of period homes, a lot of cottages, pretty little cottages, and a lot of listed buildings. But what can you get for your money? Well, when it comes to studio flats, you can probably purchase property around about 380, 400,000 pounds, a decent studio flat at least. When it comes to uh, renting a studio flat in the area, you're probably going to get set back probably around about 16 to 1700 pounds. Bigger properties, four bedroom properties, you're probably looking around about a million, 1.2 for decent properties at least. Renting wise, there's a property around here which is more of a newer build. Uh, St. Crispin's Close, I want to give you an example. That will set you back in terms of price around about a million pounds. But for rental, you're looking around about £3,500. So you get beautiful little homes like this, just literally across from the heath. As well as the big houses, you also get mansion flats. So South End Green in Hampstead belongs to the NW3 postcode, which belongs to the London Borough of Camden. It has around about 27,000 homes and probably a population of around about 40,000 people. 
Now, when we break down these people in terms of home ownership, around about 29% of these people are owner occupiers, while 24% are private tenants. The rest of the population is either too old or too young and it's not open for public data. Now, when it comes to 8% of these households have a mortgage and around about 57% own the home outright, that's a big number. Our households across London, NW3, have an income of around about 55,000 pounds. So it is an affluent area. And the fact that this little neighborhood has so much to offer absolutely means you should hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. So when it comes to transport in South and Green Hampstead, you do have the fantastic Hampstead Heath Overground Station. So Hampstead Heath has some great connections across London. To the south, you've got Clapham Junction, to the east, Stratford, and of course, to the west, you have Richmond. If the Overground doesn't do it for you, you do also have a selection of buses that take you into central London probably within 25 minutes. Great night bus services, also a lot of buses that goes to North London and North West London. And a lot of people that I know in Hampstead like to cycle, whether that's locally or going into central London. Of course, if you want an underground station, you're probably around about a 10 minute walk, whether that's Belsize Park Underground Station will take you into the Northern Line, going North London or going to Central London, but you also got Hampstead, probably be another 12 minute walk into Hampstead Underground Station. So you've got plenty of transport in this nice little village. And that's a wrap for our guide in South End Green Hampstead. As ever, there's anything that we can do for you in terms of property in Prime London, please make sure you reach out to myself or my team. We're always happy to help.